Hey guys, and welcome. I'm Alpha Ferg, and I'm going to be doing something different. I am going to be broadcasting. I got a brand new laptop, and I'm looking forward to casting on it and doing a lot of fun stuff. And one of the fun things I'm going to be doing is just streaming and broadcasting and recording when I play new games. And so the game I want to play today is uh, The Walking Dead Part 1. I heard a lot of good stuff about it. Um, I did record a little bit beforehand. And then I realized I was messing darn everything up. So I am going to be re-recording the first part and continuing on. I played about 15 minutes and it shouldn't ruin too much. So I'm looking forward to it. I heard uh, this game is really good. And it has a lot of, a lot of scary stuff in it. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of scary stuff. So here we go. I'm going to be uh, letting you guys follow the story along with me. So yeah, here we go. Walking Dead. The Walking Dead. Uh, really quick about the game, it's a five-part series. Uh, the first one has been released and the other four are on the way, so I'll do those when those get released. But for now, episode one, here we go. Uh, and I'm going to be doing a new game that was the one that didn't work. The one that got away. Uh, you can do a standard view where you have these little help points to click on, or you can do minimal where you don't know what's going on. Uh, makes you feel a little bit more scared and it messes with the UI a lot less so I'm gonna be doing that and finally yeah so you can cycle through you can see uh, they kind of know the story here's some little scenes their little moving stuff yeah episode one Star Wars this game series is adapted from the choice you make the sailors the story is tailored to how you play looking forward to it Here. I'm looking forward to this. Well, I reckon you didn't do it, Dan. See these conversation options? There's a little timer where it'll run out if you don't... Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Not for me. Because guys in your position already said it enough. Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You've got an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing. Even considering who they say you killed. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Not really. Well, too bad. It's my car. You might have the right to remain silent, but it don't mean I gotta be. <laughs> He's pissed. Regardless, it could be you just married the wrong woman. So it looks like I killed my wife. Those <laughs> chokes <laughs> on those words. Definitely other things. You can see the SWAT teams, the helicopters, many, many police. We're going away from it, so I'll consider that good. 
every uh, well, I'm driving this man once he he was the worst one he wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it he was an older fella big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses and he just wailing back there says it wasn't him crying and snotting all over right where you sit then before long he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane and I'll tell him he's got to stop that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Maybe he was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show. People up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do Watch say out! so. This other time... <laughs> So this is the first time you actually get to take a break uh, from the game. I've played a little bit past this. Um, <coughs> but clearly something bad happened. Uh, something bad involving a ton of blood that could maybe all have come from his leg, but seriously, that's, that's a lot of blood, and there's, you know, a dead body over here. Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! Does he look all right? I mean, come on, man. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Hmm, mystery. Uh, yeah. Uh, so you kick out, kick out the window. Uh, uh, Boom. It's nice. It's nice that it actually breaks in pieces. Uh, uh, but one thing, if you're ever in a police car, it's it's not that easy to kick out the window. All right. So you move around. You hold the actual movement keys, and you see so you can scoot forward. Uh, you can select between your options, like that. Find out the way. It's nice and cinematic here. You can see it moves, and the camera changes along with the, uh... The angle he takes, moves around. Whoever whoever does the audio in this does a very good job. That noise makes me not want to go forward at all. And this for the first time, I'm freely controlling my character. You can move around and dance. You can do, you know, some moonwalking here. The officer's shotgun is over there. His legs Looks are empty. okay. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Hmm. Okay, so obviously the cuffs the only other really option to move. Officer? Yeah, let's move towards the officer. Who, from the looks of it, was dragged over there and left for dead. So I'm gonna just stumble on over. You can see right there, tantalizing keys. 
every other part of the officer is not as tantalizing. Especially the uh, the arm location looks like something's dislocated or broken. Okay, got the keys. No zombie officer yet. Gosh. Okay. Uh, it's it's right next to his mouth. Um, which I know is bad, but I'm assuming the character doesn't know. He gets really scared anyway. <gasps> Effects. Obviously, he thinks this is just a dead body, so you wouldn't act like that. That kind of annoyed me, but whatever. So, taking off the handcuffs, gonna be a free man in a minute. Like I was never, ever some sort of murderer. And I'm good. Officer? <laughs> Holy shit! Get away from me! The shell. Pick up the shell, okay. The shell. And, uh, the gun. I have. I'm clicking on the gun. Okay, alright. Okay, load the shell. It's fuck you! Get the goddamn shell. Okay. Don't make me do this! Suck it, motherfucker. Suck it. Boom! Yes! Oh shit, I just committed murder again. Uh. Yeah. It's a lot of blood. Okay. So. His skin's all rotten and he smells like shit. What the hell is this? Are you dead? Hey! Are you dead? <laughs> I think he's dead, man. Oh shit. Uh, so there is someone in the background here. Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting! Move! Run! There's something over there. Uh, run! Run! Oh shit. Okay. Ah! Mr. Bad leg, I didn't even know your name. Get out of there. Go! Ah! Oh, come on! Go! The game actually lags out a little bit during that. I think it kind of treats that as a loading zone. This is really cool. It's a uh, T set wagon. Let's check out the T set. Get our drink on. Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Ha <laughs> ha My kind of man. Say, uh, no ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Help! So talk to Treehouse is an option. Let's see what that is. Anybody does. up there? No. At least no one likes this. Let's take a look around more. It looks like this is a pretty, pretty nice house to live in. Uh, this fence, I want to get too close to it. Because I'm afraid 
zombies. Good reason. There's a pose. All right, checking out some stuff. There's some rocks. Somebody, yell if you can hear no, me. No, stop talking, you stupid, stupid man. Let's get up these stairs. See what's up there. All right, let's explore. You're thirsty. You said you were thirsty. You touch your handcuffs. Don't want to walk that way. Invisible wall. Just gonna slowly, slowly move across. All right. Sliding glass door looks like that is the next location. I'll explore back here. Maybe there is a uh, another gun or something in this. I back wonder there. if anybody's home. Yeah. So he definitely knows something's wrong. Hello. Anybody home? Oh my God. Could he? Could he be Need louder? Need a little help. All right. Let's go in. <coughs> Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Right. Ah! Hello? Oh, what a creepy music in the house. I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. There's lights. Turn on, turn on the lights. These people might There's blood! I do. Alright, so first off, yeah, let's This is no, nah, come on, man! Don't, don't do this. Get, just leave the house. Get, can't leave the house. Okay. Oh, there's so much blood. Oh, Jesus. There's like baby hands in the blood. Come on, no baby blood. <gasps> Idiot. <laughs> I'm covered in baby blood. There is child footsteps. kid in there. So yeah, footsteps going towards this cupboard, not coming away. So there's something in that cupboard, the can will move. Pretty good at reading these kind of situations. Hey, cup of water. Hell yeah, I'm thirsty. Yeah, I could you a drink on. What's <sighs> that right beeping? Marshalls. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Mm. Just got an amazing idea there for moving. There are three new messages. Zombie babysitter. Uh, yeah, but there's no phone. Let's go check out the phone. Maybe there's something on there. Okay, so I heard a noise. I'm not sure if it was in my... Apartment or in the game. Let's heard it again. Three new messages. Message one left at 5:43 p.m. Hey Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two, left at 11.19. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. Who is this? I'm Clementine. 
This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. Don't go that way. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. So good. Oh my god. Man. In blood. Oh Hi my there. god, that was so gratifying. Did you kill it? Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. All babysitters. You've monsters. been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. All right, buddy. Buddy, it's it's already getting dark. I'm gonna uh, have the treehouse at night. You're not here. Don't make noise. Hello. Got a walkie-talkie. One good thing happened out of that house. Got the walkie-talkie, and I got a friend. Friends are always good. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, continue on. Let's see if there's anything to explore. Get our hobble on. Hey, there's people! Oh, man! I ain't never getting home to Mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. They're just hanging out. Trying to move cars. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I don't know. Neither do I. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. What are you doing? Trying to get home. This neighborhood's a disaster. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. 
I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Oh, come on. Leave quick. Let's go. Push it. Push it. Just some guy? It seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. Okay, that one wasn't too hard. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. So yeah, he's definitely gonna return as a zombie. And kill me. Something like that. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's <laughs> just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. That so? Where are you headed before the car accident? I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who were you with? The girl. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. 
I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry. Shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. Grow up. I miss my mom and dad. Oh, oh, I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Get up. <clears throat> uh, itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're gonna go offense. There's a tractor and everything. <laughs> we better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okay, back in the game on a farm. Country boy, country living. Gonna get my farm on, gonna go build a fence. I should talk to people. Instead of just wandering about. Alright, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Let's talk. You hey there, girls. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and 
barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Foreshadowing. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Alright, so gonna explore. Seems like those two are getting along. Well, pretty nifty there's a tractor. I'm on a farm. Gonna go to the farm, gonna help build a fence. Good looking fence. Too good. Ah, that's so cute. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! <laughs> Let's help out with the fence. Do you, uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. It's just whatever scraps I could find around the property. So not too much to do here on the farm. Pretty simple laugh. Gonna explore, gonna go see what Kenny's up to. He seems like an alright dude. Kenny? How you doing, boy? Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station, and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But... We're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots, and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. Stay with Kenny. Good plan. Alright, what else is going on? Maybe I'll talk to Katya, finish up that conversation. Never mind, it's not even an option. Lost my chance. Explore a little bit more. Creepy barn where I slept. Can't do anything. Alright. Still got my walkie talkie. And back over here. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! Right, I'm so the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! <laughs> uh, so not sure what to do. Can I help? Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. All right. Action cutscene. Action, Lee. Aww. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... That bastard. Poor girl's brains here. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. It's true. How about yours? How's your family? 
I'm not too close with my family. Oh. Well, they weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. The barn? Oh shit, he's got a pitchfork. He's gonna kill me. Glide on over to Herschel. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Oh, shit. Go! I'll get my gun! the boy. Look at him. But you weren't worried about that. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it. Like I just bought a ride to make it with someone else's life. Good shit. Oh my God. Whew. 
Yeah, this is pretty long. This is a really, very long episode. I thought this was going to be like half an hour. So like two. It's kind of slow. Well, I'm in making. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Okay, so... Don't stop here. Come on! Look! Zombie. Hey there! Oh. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Oh, come on! God for stainless steel. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. It could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I I have to pee. <laughs> I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. You're a dumb, careless kid. Then just go! They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. Still a girl You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying Wait, there's... fuck. We're in a war zone. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Lee, stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, get it. It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. Why is I'm just looking out for my daughter. There's no, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <coughs> <coughs> oh, Jesus! 
Okay. Just great, thanks. Thought I was gonna get that quick time event, man. Uh, guys. Everybody down. Stay quiet. Wow. We're gonna get in. Shut up. We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! Uh, 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 yep. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there, behind the counter where the pills are. It's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know make it. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Interesting way to introduce a lot of characters, uh, conflict like that. A little too much going on to really follow what was happening uh, for lots of people now. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. Why would you want to do that? You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. <laughs> you seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. <laughs> what are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Oh, shit. <laughs> <sighs> Not 
nothing. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. <laughs> no. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. I don't know what a battery is. Alright, let's look around. So, uh... ATM. Let's get some money. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. It's not damaged. And this place didn't get looted. Okay. Should be getting some pills, but apparently it's not very high priority. Uh, there's the office. Alive inside. Take energy bar. Get my power aid on. And here's the family. Hopefully we can't let anyway. anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Well, you've Thank got you, a boat. Lee. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. Little kid. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They're, uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but, yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? Happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we it. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. It was giving me the option to give him a candy bar. So that's gone. Okay. Let's keep exploring. Looking for the batteries. Okay, that's uh, maybe in the office, All right? So let me check up on my kid. I'm gonna give her a candy bar. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Aw, oh, I feel good. Hey there. Hi. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. If you uh, didn't watch the show or anything, Glenn is the Asian guy. He's a character in the show. It's Can I uh, guy. get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Glenn. I'll see if I can find something else for you. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Despite the circumstances. Yep. Well, sit tight. Okay. Well, 
I think I'm gonna head into, I guess I can talk to these people. Hey, another energy bar. I am the king of energy bars. Give them an energy bar. Let's actually give it to the kids, because I like them more, never mind. Maybe I can eat it myself. There's energy bars all over the place. Can I get another? No. Alright. Uh... It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Alright. Let's... Lots of blood. Never a bad thing. I can't. I can't think about them in here. No, it's his family. There's a photo over there. Find anything? Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look. Don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. State Senator. This door leads to the back alley. Hey, there's a first aid kit. A first aid kit? Let's get first aid up in here. When we can't select the first aid kit. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Take something. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that.
Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. The kid, like, overheard the conversation where... Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I killed the state senator. I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I, uh... I, I got into a fight once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. The first aid kit. I'm so good at this game. Can't, can't phase me, man. My pants came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. My dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then. Okay. Not sure why the Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. First aid kit. Luckily there's nothing I need in here. Let us Let's have a look at that finger. Fix. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Hmm. I am the world's best doctor. It's official. All right. Let us get up in here. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. Track down the keys in the drawer. Oh, TV remote. It's the remote to my dad's TV. The TV. What's on the TV? Hopefully, the office. That's what I figured. Not very helpful. All right. Not in the drawer. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? 
You're not bad, right? Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? Aha! Uh -huh. L battery. Mucho gusto por la batteria. Looking for... Hey there. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and... Well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. the linearness of this what I'm supposed to do. Batteries and other stuff. Um looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. <laughs> should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. I don't know where go batteries ahead. go. Come on. Alright, so first off, flip it over. Check it out. Alright, batteries wrong, you put them in the wrong direction. Really? It's like elementary, man. Cool. Flip it over. Hit the power. As the unknown force it. continues to spread unchecked, the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved ones. God bless you all. Holy shit. Try to get the medicine first. Uh, sorry, Glenn. Okay. The keys in there? Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Are they in the bed? My pants came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Sector, at least. So I don't see anything else to click. So I guess the keys aren't in here. Um, hmm. I can look around for a bit. But I reckon that the 
keys are... No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living <laughs> dead guards. There's photographs. Go have a look around outside. Yeah, look outside for the keys. Let's have a look around. Okay. Jesus. No! Just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all I care about. And if one no. gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. You can do anything with this? Hmm. Yeah, I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much to do with it now. Man, I miss my robots. You're a strange guy, Doug. I know. Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. They weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of here? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility. Right. It's a combination lock. Not sure what that'll do. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. see wandering around out there. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. <laughs> Let's try. What a nerd! Well fucking done, Doc. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? few of them to take notice. That isn't symbolism. I don't know what it is. But not enough. Huh. So... Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Ah. I can't reach that brick. I need you to take that cane. Okay, so... Attack to him to leave. Let's head back inside. Okay. Grab the cane, get the brick, break the window, make some noise, run around outside, get the keys. Shadaisy. 
And then I'll go save Glenn, I guess. Um, should I save Glenn now? No, that seems like the end of the chapter will be saving Glenn. Okay, so let's go get that. Busting some, uh, busting some balls, man. This. Come on, really? That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Yeah, but. Come on, give me the cane. Stupid. Just reach it. Gah! Okay, so. Not the cane. Frustrating. Sure is. Okay, well, uh, let's shoot out the window. Think of. Can't go out there, nothing on this wall. No sticks, really? Can't see, just no stick. Big stick, alright. Uh, let's try talking to. Carly is not. Hey, Carly. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. Okay, first off, give her some candy. Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. She's a good plant. Um, well, kind of confused at the order of things. That, that's always like the painful part is when you don't know the. How are we doing? If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. Don't like Larry. So I'm not seeing anything to reach out and grab stuff, because A, that brick doesn't seem very far away. B, I guess I'll go back out. I don't know, man. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. I don't know. This is taking too long. You guys feel free to fast forward until it looks like something's exciting happening. Um, I'm going to keep on keeping on. Just I can't fucking... reach that brick. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Um. Did you guys try to get in there oh, and I don't get know weapons? Live. I did, but it was That's too nice. risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who <sighs> you see wandering around out there. Skin's dragging a little bit. Looking good though. Hey, just reach out. And... That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. I it wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Ah, okay, so... A few seconds of searching it, we'll know if he has the keys. I can't reach that brick. Didn't he? Use literally anything... to grab it. I feel like I should, uh... I'm gonna enable some of this 
stuff. Alright. I feel like I'm missing something, and I don't want to take too much time. So, brother, the buddy, drugstore, TVs. That's it. Brick, pop. Those things like TV. Let's see if he gives us or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. So. Let's head back inside. Okay. Okay, so now I'm just going to do a sweep of all the places I know, make sure I don't have any missing things. It could be hidden in a conversation somewhere. It's kind of annoying the way these adventure games work out. But we'll see if I spot anything I've missed in the past. Carly, what's in the background here? Carly, newspapers, ATM. The pills are in there. Gates back there. Cool. There's some people. The back room. Ice cream menus. Always. It's all melted now. <laughs> all the ice cream's gone. Talk to Carly. Newspaper clippings, photographs. Okay, so Carly. Okay, so I'm gonna talk to Carly because that's hey what there. the notification said. Uh, you ready to I head guess out? We have to you got it. Glenn you? First, so yeah. Let's go do that. Let's first. go. First, um, if not, sorry guys, we're gonna miss out in saving Larry, and he's just gonna have heart attack. Action Ranger Lee and a girl named Carly with a gun. Is Glenn in there or is it? Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! Okay, not the hardest rescue I have ever been. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way! We gotta go now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her. Hey man. With or without you. Think about it if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Right, let's beat up some zombies. Didn't get any weapons at all. So, this camera. Help me out. Uh, so, oh, so I'm just getting the see of everything. One, two, three zombies, two on the balcony. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's more than that. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Five zombies. Who attracts these things? Now let's have a look around. Let's get some beat sticks. We can hide by that pickup. So I'm just exploring stuff now. Oh man. She's eating something. So we got that one right there, close. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. <laughs> I have an idea for it. Give an idea for a pillow. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Alright, so... Pillow... We can hide by that RV if we're quiet and keep our heads down. Assuming every movement is going to be. Okay. We can probably make it over to the RV or down to the truck if we're quick and quiet about it. There's one back there trying to get into a room, but I didn't see anyone actually in there. So. We can hide by that RV. 
Let's if do we're it. quiet and keep our heads down. So peeking is better, is worse than that. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. Alright, let's go back and see what's behind the pickup. This is actually pretty cool. I like this approach to uh, planning and then going through with. They really want to get into that room. bunch of noise and none with pillows <laughs> okay pillow pillow car does not work okay pressing up and right do the same dang thing all right Looks like it wants me to pillow zombie. Hmm. Well, let's try pillowing zombie. Zombie. Why wouldn't it work? Alright, so I am now behind. It's a spark plug. Spark plug. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. Taking them out one at the number. 
brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Okay, so let's go over there. Don't look at that axe. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? <laughs> Hell yeah. Two more. That should help. Hey, and that can reach the brick, too. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We will. We'll be right behind you. Sneaky Lee, action Lee with the chop in the face. We're gonna get down to the zombie race. Slashing the bits, you know I'm the best. Gonna take a swipe out of your chest. Suck it! Here we go. You want this? Oh, rat. That's how it works. All right, so. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Don't go in. This is the stupidest thing you've ever done, Lee. <laughs> Actually, no, killing someone was, but, you know. Whatever. Got an axe. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh, God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. She was Guys, bitten. she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? What? <laughs> I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Okay. We'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, 
I don't want to be one of them. They're... they're... satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me! We need to get going. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Yes. Back up! Please! Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! <laughs> Let's get out of here. Shit! Here they come! Where'd the axe go? Get in! Everyone alright? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills right, out of so the pharmacy. That was the right order. Okay, now I have Axe. And with Axe, can solve problem. Shoot a doo 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 doo. Gonna talk to Doug. How we doing? Outside. Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? You bet your ass. Let's have I do. a look around. Okay. Place my own. Uh... I can't reach that brick. Use use the axe. Use the axe. Are you kidding me? Off the lock. Let's head back inside. Way. Okay. Oh my god. Seriously, the brick is right there. Okay, well, I'll talk to Glenn. Because Glenn, no doubt, has something he can advise. How are you, you doing, know? Glenn? You know. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know, I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. Then you can't relock it. Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. So that was no help. Uh, alternatively, I could just bust the door to the pharmacy with my axe. That. It's very frustrating, you can't just reach out and grab the brick. Or shoot the door. Hey oh, there we go. <coughs> yeah, okay. Nothing I do makes sense anymore. Uh, maybe... Just... So frustrating. I mean, I did look at the newspaper clippings. That surely unlocked stuff. Um, let's get 
very annoying. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Go have a look around outside. Let's have a look so, around. So okay. Let's see if this plan works. Awesome. Now to distract those things carefully. I can't reach that brick. Get in there. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh no. Oh, seriously? Shit. We gotta hurry. Arise all the zombies. Come on, baby. 
time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back! Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. I got doors not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. Awesome. What do we do? Okay. Hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Gee, thanks, Doug. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit! Honey, are you sure? Shit! Oh shit! Okay then. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. I got friends there, and I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Thank you. 
Find your friends. Be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. Hey, Kim. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kitty. You got it. <laughs> I made a friend, I feel good. Looks like it's guiding me through all this. Yep, there's Carly. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. <laughs> anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I thought you needed the help. Ah, that makes sense. But it wasn't a choice like that. It, it was just something I did. I don't know why. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Super Dinosaur was toast! But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you wanna cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's, uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. <sighs> Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. And I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hassle. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? I guess I'm supposed to fall in love with the daughter. I didn't really interact with her very My much. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I 
hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Fine if we survive the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't know me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what you want! There's too many of them! Interesting. Well, I'm in the majority. Interesting. 76 players. 76% of the players chose Carly and Doug. Could be a. Uh, might be a. Uh, okay. I'm gonna talk anyway. It might be a. Uh, sex thing, like just more men play video games so more men would choose the woman. Can I let it run? Skip through these. We'll talk after this. That was episode one of The Walking Dead. It went about two hours longer than I thought it was, so this is going to be a very big uh, YouTube video. Uh, Alright, let me get out of here. So, that went about three hours long. So many frames. Uh, but it did drop any yay new computer. I'm going to let it cool down after this. But uh, that went really well. And hopefully this is all good quality. And I look forward to seeing you guys respond and other good stuff so if you have any comments remember leave them down there i'll take a peek 
So you can send me an email, fergerberger at gmail.com or alphaferg at gmail.com. Uh, yeah, and this has been Alpha Ferg playing episode one of The Walking Dead. See you guys later.